From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbert. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. It is still a beautiful sunrise shaping up right now in Yakima. This view coming atop a Tandem Ridge. We're in the 50s right now for the Kittitas and Yakima Valleys. We're in the 50s and 60s for the lower Columbia Basin. And we're also seeing that same mixture for the foothills of the Blues. A little bit later today, it's going to be seasonal, it's going to be sunny, and it's also going to be breezy. The winds gusting out of the west and northwest, upwards of 20 to 45 miles per hour, with some of the fastest wind gusts being in the Kittitas Valley. We should end up in the 80s for the Kittitas and Yakima Valleys, up around 90 for the lower Columbia Basin, and then 70s and 80s for the foothills of the Blue Mountains. And then for tonight, the winds will still be pretty blustery, gusting out of the west upwards of 45 miles per hour for the Kittitas Valley. Definitely a lot calmer winds elsewhere, but skies will continue to be clear and overnight lows will continue to be comfortable. 50s for the Kittitas and Yakima Valleys will also be in the 50s for the lower Columbia Basin and then low to mid 50s for the foothills. Over the next seven days, things are looking bone dry and to add insult to injury, our temperatures are going to go way up. We'll keep things pretty seasonal for Tuesday and Wednesday, up around 95 for Thursday, and then, uh-oh, here comes trouble, triple digits, if not, uh, you know, splitting the difference between 100 and 110 for Saturday and Sunday. Very hot stuff. And so that alone is dangerous, but then you add in some of the fire risk and it becomes that much more dangerous. So we're going with the first alert high impact fire day for Saturday for the entire viewing area. Don't make me give the spiel about fireworks, but here's a look at the fire fuel energy in terms of fire season percentiles up into the 91st percentile for Kittitas in Yakima counties, up into the 78th percentile for the lower Columbia Basin, and up into the 86th percentile for the Blue Mountains. Now, if you think that sounds dangerous, then wait until you see this for Sunday, okay? This is, a, this is the first time we've done this. This is a first alert extreme impact fire day. If the magenta hurts your eyes, it's kind of supposed to. That's the point. As the fuels are going to be very dry, this is on Sunday for Kittitas and Yakima counties. Look at the fire fuel energy up into the 98th percentile, so almost maxing out our chart. A very dangerous setup that's setting up for Sunday, and, and Monday is nothing to scoff at as well. Here is a seven day forecast for the Cascades will be, uh, you know, even in the mountains, we'll have temperatures rising up into the mid 80s for this weekend. And then for the Kittitas Valley, triple digits more likely for Saturday and Sunday now, but still pretty hot for Friday and Monday. Then for the Yakima Valley, that first alert, extreme impact fire day for Sunday, and we're also thinking something along the same lines for Monday. For the lower Columbia Basin, a first alert, high impact fire day for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. On top of the, the heat that's already going to be dangerous enough. Then for the foothills of the Blue Mountains, we're going to be flirting with 100 degrees for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then for the Blue Mountains, sunny, warm, and fire fuels turning very dry, especially as we head into this weekend.